You've probably been tricked by this before, a fake download button. So maybe when you are streaming a video, so I hear, uh, you might see a button that says download and you might see a fake button that says download or you might see five. This also goes for legit websites including SourceForge and CNET. There are fake download buttons everywhere and it's kind of a game as to whether or not you can pick the true download button. Uh, but Google has made that easier because they've started to block websites that show fake download buttons. So this is really great for most of us. But what about websites that, you know, maybe you aren't necessarily the one hosting deceptive content. Maybe you have third-party content served by uh, random ad servers. Uh, there isn't really much help for you there. Uh, Google's webmaster uh, knowledge base doesn't really super help, only offering Ad networks may rotate the ad shown on your site's pages. You, therefore, might need to refresh a page a few times before you're able to see any social engineering ads appear. Uh, not helpful. But for most of us, this is extremely helpful, and there is that option to uh, opt out of it. it. It's shown primarily on the safe browsing tech, uh, which is that red interstitial screen you might see on certain websites before you enter, saying that they're not safe or they are potentially a deceptive site. So this is great for most of us, uh, those of you who are webmasters, may want to look at how your ads are being served.